the 1-1. One, one. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And he'll make it in easily at second, as I'd imagine that'll be scored a passed ball. Yeah, that's an unfortunate pass ball, and you can bet the catcher is kicking himself about it right now. With the runner advancing to second, the double play is off the table. Might come back to haunt him. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Mm, hung that one out there a bit, but it's a called strike two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. In now, Leonardo Macias. Now batting, the center fielder, Leonardo Macias. First delivery to him on the way. Strike taken up in the zone. Hey, that's a huge pitch right there. You've got to get ahead. When you start to see traffic on the base pass, your defense starts to tighten up a little bit. The best thing to do is pound the zone and get ahead 0-1. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off 1-2. That's and he lays ball. off it to even the count two and two. two and two. Tucker at second. Sanchez is over at first with one away. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And he fouls this one off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in right Jorge field, Valentine. Two outs and two Jorge. runners aboard here in the seventh Valentine. inning. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Hit out towards second. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The flying squirrels are on top, three to two. Here comes Pat Vendetti into the game, and this will be fun to watch. A switch pitcher. Number 46, Pat Venditti. Now at the plate, Luis Soto, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for, for him to this point in the ball game. The this thing's baseman. far from over, Luis. even though we're moving into the back end Soto. of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Oh, that's the ball. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. A ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. The change up and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. I don't think he's going to triple up on change up right there. He seemed to have gotten the timing down on that second one. The 1-2. One, Runs a bit inside for a ball.
The 2 2 one more time. Ball right side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery is a quick one as he gets his man at first. Good composure that time to record the first out of the inning. Now batting. Ready once right again, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Lynch. Lynch. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The 0 2 once more is a sinker that misses for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So coming to the plate, Alfredo Ibar. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Ibar. First pitch of the at bat. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Unable to find the zone with the slider. One out and a runner on second base. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. I don't know why in the world anybody would want to be an umpire. That manager has given this umpire an earful on a pitch that he thought was a strike, and he's certainly trying to defend his pitcher. Now the 2-1 pitch is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking here. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And that's going to tie our ball game as the runner scores from second to make it 3-3 now. Digging in now, Thomas Spanos. Now one in, one out, hitter. and one on here Robert. in the inning. Spanos. You know, D. Rowe, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Bottom part of the zone, and the slider is in there for a called strike. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. To the right side. To second for... On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. But the tying run has come across here as we're set up for an exciting finish. Eighth inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Your Lonnie Dunn will come on now in relief as he'll make his second pass. appearance of the season so Number far. Lonnie Dunn. Stepping in, Dan Logan. And this tie ball game Leading is a battle of the bullpens the now, and I'm sure you're enjoying Dan. that, Dan. Bullpens Logan. are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good 7th, 8th, and 9th inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 
Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. Here it comes on one and one. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. He takes the turn and heads for second. And your go ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Now batting the shortstop, Tim. Into the box, oh. Tim. Softly hit out to short. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Striding in, Pablo Sandoval. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Pablo Sandoval. First offering on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Oh and one here it comes. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0 and 2. Ball a ball and two strikes. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt, I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. Here now the 2-2. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Andy Rice is on deck. Another full count offering on its way. Fouled off. The next 3-2. Hard liner, but picked up on a hunt. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. Well, the first baseman tried to do his part and help his partner out, but the throw is just way too off target. He almost makes a great save, but that's going to be a throwing error all the way. Now batting, the first baseman, Andy. Stepping in now, Rice. Andy Rice, as he'll take one up oh in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ah. And he takes strike two. Oh ball, two strikes. Oh, a two pitch is a curveball that misses one and two. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0 2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Drilled to the left side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. But the recovery will come too late, and the bases are loaded now. So striding in, Rocco Allen, not much in the way of now productivity batting. from him the so catcher. far, but he's got a chance Rocco. to come through here in a crucial Allen. spot. 
Yeah, he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. First offering on its way. Oh, and an You're ugly right. swing there. It's 0-1. Hey, I love the aggressiveness right here and wanting to be a hero. But this is where you got to tell yourself to relax a little bit. I had an old coach tell me one time, when the bases are loaded, just concern yourself with getting the guy in from third. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Again, he sends it out of play. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to 2-2. Two and two. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Yoannis Pena is on to pitch now out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the Number eighth. Number 22, Yoannis Pena. Digging in the switch hitter, Richard Arena. Leading He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The second baseman, Richard Arena. He's set. Here it comes. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. Pena, a native of Puerto Rico. His arsenal includes a cutter, a slider, and a changeup. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. Now batting, number 29. Standing in now, Christopher England, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Oh, one, here's the pitch. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Two great pitches down in the zone. Interested to see where he goes now. Does he bounce something in the dirt? Does he go elevated fastball? A lot of options at hand right now. High in the air out towards shallow right. Valentine is there. He's got it and there are two down now. Ready now, Julio Pinto. The batter number eight. Shortstop, Julio Pinto. From the stretch. Fly ball to straightaway left. Moving under it, Tucker. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. 
So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We've played eight full, and we are all tied at three apiece. Standing in, Newton Tucker. Leading off, the left fielder, Newton Tucker. First pitch of the at-bat. Ninth <laughs> inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Hold yeah. strike two with the letters. 0-2 oh, now. You know, I think that curveball in the previous pitch had him thinking about getting another one because there's no reason he shouldn't have had a big rip at that fastball. That was right in every hitter's happy zone. The next 0-2. Oh, swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have now done so far. Second baseman, Francisco Sanchez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a oh, two-seamer inside to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. Skied into straightaway right. Lynch sprinting after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Stepping up to the plate, Leonardo Macias. The center fielder, Leonardo Macias. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fastball misses That's in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Into the corner and slicing foul. One one pitch is a curveball just off the black. Two and one now. Slap hard the opposite way, but he will close fast out there in right field as he comes on to put it away, and the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number nine, and we are all tied at three apiece. Into the box, Todd Broadway. He'll we'll lead things cat. off here as we play the, the bottom fielder. of the ninth. Todd. Broadway. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Up top, it's 2 0. The 2 0 pitch. On the ground over to first. Rice scoops it up, and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Digging in, Nathan McCann. Now batting, left fielder, Nathan McCann. Here's the first pitch to him. Called strike, a good pitch down in the zone. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0 and 2. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Luis Soto. Third baseman. Luis. Soto. From the stretch, here's the pitch. He'll hold oh, off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball. Two and oh. 
He may be down 2-0 after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. The 2-0. And, and that's over 2-1. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Nathaniel Lynch would be next. Two out, nobody on. This is line to left. Tucker is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So they can't get that winning run home, and that means we'll have to go a little longer tonight to find a winner. Tenth inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Ladies Arturo Acosta takes the mound as he'll be the first now man to pitch here in extra innings. Number 16, Arturo Acosta. At the plate, Jorge Valentine. He'll swing it from the left side the right, right here. And this Jorge. is the side of the plate this guy loves Valentine. to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. Too high oh, that time right. with the inning's first pitch. Hits ball one. One one late on that one is it's fouled off to the left side. It looked like from our perspective he gave up on that one a little too quick and then tried to emergency hack late. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Now another one two. Another one sent foul. Here's another one two Ball to two balls and two strikes now. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Three. And they're working the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Next will be the designated hitter, Dan Logan. He'll try to follow up hitter. the double in his Dan. last at-bat with another big Logan. hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in A-B. Meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. And he is in to second base with one away as the go-ahead run. So a big spot here and stepping in, Tim Roth. Yeah. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. McCann is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. So a runner at second. Two down now. Down and up next, former World Series, Series MVP Pablo, Pablo Sandoval. Sandoval. And there's the fourth wide one, so he's aboard on the intentional walk. So striding forward now, Andy now Rice. He's two for four in the ball game. Andy Rice.
Here's the first pitch. Fouled away. Comes set. The 0 1. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. The one and one pitch. Ball and two. he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on. But right here, he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, Logan over at second. Sandoval at first, two out in the inning. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And he'll just step on second for the force, and that'll do it for this half inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are all tied at three apiece. Your Stephen Oker comes on to start the home 10th, and Rich. he's just hoping to get this number one into 32. the 11th inning. Stephen Oker. Coming to the plate now, Nathaniel Lynch. Leading off for the Fisher Cats, the right fielder, Nathaniel Lynch. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one, one and two. Two strikes. The one two. Shot on the ground is short. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. Now batting. At the plate, the Alfredo Ibar. The winning run Einbar. is at first base. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Thomas Spanos. Now He's gone hitless the to this point. Hitter. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that Spanos. would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. The 1-0. Oh, two hit. balls and no strikes. Well, 2-0 and oh now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you can bet he's not going to hold back. Now the 2-0. Two, oh. two and one now. Uh, 
Now the 2 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Tucker has a read on it. One away. Now in the box, Richard Arena. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amend. Well, your team really needs you like they need it right here. You have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. The 0-1. Off the plate and in. Hits a ball and a strike. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Macias will range to his left and put it away. Two down. So digging in with a chance now to batting. win it here. Number Christopher England as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from ball second base. Ball one, no Fastball too high to start him out here. One and oh. And he takes a cold strike one. First baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. Three and two now. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. Payoff pitch on its way. Popped him up. Allen is under it. He makes the catch, and the winning run is left stranded. So no runs here on no hits, one error, and two left. No winner yet. On to inning number 11 we go. And we are all tied at three apiece. Your Joaquin please. Chavis takes the now mound to start the 11th inning. Bat. Number 32, Joaquin Chavis. Now at the plate, Rocco Allen. Leading off, the catcher, Rocco Allen. First pitch of the at bat on its way. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike. 0-2. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Left side. Soto takes it in. Throw on to first in time. One away. Now at the plate, Newton Tucker. 0 for now 2 on his line thus far. Left fielder. Newton. Tucker. Here's the first pitch to him. Right hander against right hander as this is a ball one and oh. One out nobody on. Fastball misses away here it's two and oh. And it's fouled away. Now the 2 1. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at 2 and 2. The 2 2. 
is laid off and the count runs full. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this is a strike three call. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. Wow, we've seen some really impressive pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic, but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all game long. Ready for another chance? Now Francisco Sanchez. Francisco Sanchez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Grounded to short. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. It's getting late. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11th. And we are all tied at three apiece. Stepping in. Julio Pinto. Liga for the Fisher Cats. The shortstop. Julio Pinto. First delivery to him on the way. And this one's what not up. close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Nope. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Line towards center field. Macias is right there, one down. Digging in, Todd Broadway. Now batting, the center fielder, Todd Broadway. First offering on its way. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. Ball that 2 0 oh now. Ball Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Well, he was definitely looking fast. Stepping in and ready for now another batting. shot, Tim Hold Roth. Off. As yeah. the switch hitter will take his Roth. cuts left-handed here. Really doesn't matter what side and plate this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Settling in now, Richard Arena. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. Question is whether they'll even pitch to him. A and the 0-2. Toward the left side of the infield. Hernandez is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Into the box now, Nathan McCann. The winning run at second. However, the double play in order here. McCann. Here's the 2 2 pitch. On the ground to short. Could this be two? To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Now batting, Alfredo Ibar has got three hits, including a double to this point. Alfredo Ibar. Hit to short. On to first, and we're headed for a 15th as that ends the inning. Stepping into the box, Tim Roth. Here's the first pitch to him. Roth. Ground ball left side. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. You're out. Full four. Take your base. 
So a big moment in the ball game here. Todd center field. Broadway as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what Broadway. would be the winning run from second base. Short. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. No runs, a hit, two left. Standing in, Tim Ross. Now batting, shortstop. Jim. First delivery to him on the Whoa. way. Line drive to center field. Broadway is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Let's play ball. Down. Three. 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 Out. Out. Ball four. Take the ball. Three. Out. So digging in now, now Tim back. Roth. The shortstop. Here's the first pitch to him. Roth. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup card because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. So a runner at first now with one away. And standing in now, the versatile Pablo, Pablo Sandoval. Sandoval. Roth leads off first with one away. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. And as a pitcher, that's always tough. Looks like he got a bad break on some of those calls, but he's got to learn that sometimes the calls don't go your way and you've just got to move on. That's something that young pitchers can have a hard time with, though. Now batting. Stepping up baseman. now, Andy, Andy Rice. Right. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down to second for one. But wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Striding now in batting. once again, Catch. Rocco Allen, Rocco. and their runners at the corners Allen. now. Here's the one-two. Hit out towards second. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. And the insurance run comes across to score from third. Now a 5-3 game. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing room. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind. Three. 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 What? What time is it? Uh, where am I? Oh, man. It's over? Man, I thought this game was never going to end, but it did. And anytime you could win a marathon game like that, it... Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Yo, Today, it's the rubber match of this three-game series between Fisher the Flying Cats. Squirrels of Richmond and the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. David Paulino, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Now at the plate, Tim Roth. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Here comes the first pitch. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Dan Dero, we take a look at our home nine as they take the field here today. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, Dero, this has not been the kind of homestand that they would like to have so far. Through the first five games, they're two and three. Dero, getting to 500 on this homestand is certainly one thing they'd like to do here today. Yeah, they can salvage a little bit right now. They can walk out of here today with a smile on their face if they can get this back to 500 in these first six games. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Pinto is there, two down. 
Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Digging in, Alfredo Ibar. No one aboard the for catcher. him, and two gone Alfredo. here in the first. Ibar. One, one, one. short. Roth over to his left. Throw on to first, oh. gets him, and the side is retired. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. Settling in now, Kevin Morse. We and as you can see, well, he's had some that. troubles here in his the own ballpark. Baseman. That's something he'll Kevin. look to improve upon in this Moore. one. Smoke whoa, whoa, toward whoa. third. Gilly fields it cleanly. And that's the first out. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the visitors. And guys, when I've been looking at the numbers on this starting pitcher, what really jumps out on me... Three! Digging in now, Tim now Roth. Oh for stop. one here in the early yeah. going. Roth. And prior to the first okay. pitch, he'll look to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. First pitch of the at bat. On a line, that's a base hit into left field. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96-mile-an-hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you now on the off-speed. Catcher, Rocco. Now with the plate, Allen. Rocco Allen. Two on, two out for him here in the third. He's set. The 0-1. Hold it, right to the Hold it right side. there. He's got it. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. Coming to the plate now, Nathan Batting McCann. Nine. Two hits no and eight tries for the series. Nathan McCann. One, one, Short. One. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing-nothing. So striding in, Alfredo Ibar, and their runners at the corners now. Ibar. The 0 2 delivery. Ground two, ball two, sent two, back up two. the middle. There's one. Out. On to first, He's and out. they get the double play, but boy, was he ever upended at second base. Ball four. Thank you, man. At the plate, Richard Arena. Two men the on, batter. two Number away nine. here in the fourth. Second baseman, Richard. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Reined in. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So one run here on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Ready for another shot now. Tim Roth. He singled his last time up. Tim Roth. First offering on its way. And he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1-0. Bullet to first base. Tries to dance back to the bag to double off the runner, but not in time. Play ball. Ow. Ow. Three. Three. That hit him. He's got first. Sure. He's got first. Three. Three. He's out. Three. Their side. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. 
line drive to center field. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. Let's play ball. Nothing finished today. The New Hampshire Fisher Cats took the lead in the fourth and held on until.